Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just decided on a whim to film this quick video. I hope the sunlight holds up, but basically the last video you saw from me was my planner setup in my pink pocket Moterm. And since then I have purchased this white pocket Moterm. I also purchased a black pocket Moterm. Both of those have come in obviously. And then I purchased the taupe the other day as well. So the taupe probably won't come in for like another month, but I'm really excited. Clearly, if you cannot tell, I am in love with these Moterm planners. You can find them on AliExpress, sometimes Amazon, but I've only bought them either from people selling them in the community or from AliExpress. But I actually had pretty good luck with AliExpress. It did not take too long to get here. So really happy about that. So basically I moved from my pink Moterm into this white Moterm for the rest of summer. And then when fall comes along, I'm going to switch into my black Moterm. So I'm excited to kind of switch the covers out and whatever. So I wanted to film a quick setup kind of flip through of this. I will say my inserts and my insert system is no different from the last time you saw flip through. So even though the cover was pink, the insert system is still the same. It's just been working for me, so I don't really want to change it up, but I do like switching covers and also in turn switching out kind of like my deco and everything. So yeah, that is what I'm going to show you today. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, this is pocket rings. I do switch the rings out to 26 millimeter. They usually come with like 19 or 20 millimeter, but that's way too small for me. So I switch them out to 26 and that is perfect. It is a little chunky, but I like it that way. So I just have a couple little deco pieces in the pocket here. And then this July 2020 card that's clipped on with a Snow Leopard Ollie clip. Um, this was a freebie card, I think, from Infinite Lotus when I bought inserts. I love how all the Moterms come with these fly leaves. It's amazing. So in the pockets here, I just have this clear July calendar card from Cloth and Paper. The July calendar card back there is from Poi and Hun, I believe, in a pack that I got. Again, I just love this Ollie clip so much. Um, so up in the front, I just have like a little layering action going on here. This boss card is from Queen City Designs. This breathe card was a freebie um, with an order from, I believe, Caffeine and Plans or Caffeine and Paper Co. So I just kind of put those on acetate to layer over top. And then I have this little piece of decorative acetate from Queen City Designs. And then underneath that is this amazing vision board that's a freebie from Plan With Jazz. I love it. I just feel like the white and the creams and the nudes, like I just love the vibe. I feel like um, the setup of this planner, like I said, is very similar to my last one, but I feel like in my pink Moterm, it was kind of like pink and black. And in this one, I tried to go for more like nudes and creams and whatever. And then when I move into the black one, I'm going to do like black and white, like super chic. So very, very excited. So I have the same little to do or table of contents acetate. Um, this is like faux fur vellum from the planner spot. Um, my first divider is pretty much my inbox section, which the inbox section has not changed. So you have seen this before if you've watched my previous videos. So I just have some task flags on little sticky pockets on either side. And then this task card is where I put my daily tasks for the day. Um, I also have this inbox vellum, again, from Cloth and Paper. I usually write anything I need to do for the day on here if... Um, if I have anything to do and I'll just switch this out daily. So this is kind of my daily inbox. And then this is more of like my long-term inbox. So you have film new setup, put it on there. Didn't know when I was going to do it, but I knew I wanted to eventually, um, renewing my passport. I need to get a brow wax at some point. Who knows when that'll be. This card is from Queen City Designs. Once again, I have my routine card from Maddie Plans. I forgot to mention these task cards are also from Maddie Plans, but I'm sure you already knew that. So yeah, I have this here. I have a little sticker sheet from Poi and Hun. This is a planning routine thing that I made for myself on Canva. So I just have like my Instagram handle and then I just customized it to what I do daily, weekly, monthly, and then just like miscellaneous planner updates, I guess. On the back of that, I have some shape sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. This 2020 calendar, or I guess yearly overview is also Cloth and Paper. The grit card is the planner spot. Um, so here, this is a post-it note and this little card, they're both from Paper Panda. That is Cloth and Paper and this sticker sheet is 
um, Bear Necessities Sticker Co. It used to be Grumpy Bear. I have a little Monstera Leaf from Kale Plans. Again, Queen City Designs card. And then you've probably seen this as well. There's a door card is Cloth and Paper. And again, I have Mocha Page Flags from Cloth and Paper. See, in my last setup, I had this kind of similar, but I had the dusk color instead. So it's kind of funny, like so much is the same, but different. You know what I mean? Um, this iconic dash is cloth and paper, a little layering right here, the Maddie Plans monthly planning checklist card. The bow is Bare Necessities, and then this self-care card, which I love, is from Lux Plans. So that is just layered over some grid that I printed out on vellum. Next section is monthly. Again, you've all seen this. Um, it's honestly the exact same as it always has been. This is July, so that's where we're at right now. And then tomorrow, I am actually planning on filling out August. I haven't filled that out yet, but the month is coming to a close, so I should probably do that soon. Um, I have a top tab for my bills, and then I just have this Infinite Lotus Bills Tracker that I write all my bills on. Um, this little 2020 calendars from Planner Press, and then I just have a monthly tracker. I need to like fully fill this out, but the only thing I have so far is my dog's flea and tick medicine, and then just to clean out my email inbox. Um, this laundry guide dashboard is from Cloth and Paper. It is so soft. Oh my god, it's amazing. On the back, I just have this sequins and paper card that says empower other women. You can see I am starting to lose my light, so I hope that's okay. The Stay Wild Vellum, and then this print is from KL Plans. I love her artwork, and I thought it went really well with the theme of this planner. Cloth and paper card. The Stay Wild is also KL Plans, and then this little die cut is Bare Necessities Sticker Co. So back here, I have some square stickers from Sweet Caress. The Don't Kill My Vibe is also from KL Plans. I love that one. I'm so sad that the light is going away. I knew that was gonna happen. It's been sunny and sunny and cloudy like off and on all day today. This was a printable dashboard from Caffeine and Plans. I think our Etsy is called Caffeinated Concepts. I really, really like this one. And then on the back, I have this self love card. That was a freebie from Point Hun. Um, this fuck it dashboard is from my minimal planner on Instagram. She sent this file to me and I printed it on vellum because I saw it in her planner and I loved it so much. The only issue is because I printed it on vellum and this is such like a thick, dark ink, you can see that the ink kind of rubbed off onto this card. So that sucks, but whatever. Um, the next is my weekly section. So this is kind of like my dashboard for like the month, I guess. I have these habit tracker sticky notes from cloth and paper that I switch out every week, obviously. Just has like medication and random things. I just got a piercing, so I put clean piercing. I have Instagram. I put tell Mel I love her, that's my girlfriend. Just a little reminder. Um, sometimes the days go by and you forget to, you know, stop and enjoy the moment. But anyway, so this is like my monthly dashboard. So I have all my weekly inserts here and I pretty much only keep in that month at a time. When the month ends, I take this out and I replace it with like the next month. So I have this little morning mindset card from Cloth and Paper and then this is like the dashboard for July. So it has like birthdays, important dates, um, a monthly to-do to list and everything. So this was like the first week of July, I guess. And then this was, this is this week, yeah. So that's today, the 19th. Um, I really love these inserts. I actually just ordered them for 2021 as well, which she did change up the style a little bit, but I just love them so much. So I picked them up for 2021. Um, and then this is next week. And then, yeah, so this dashboard right here is from Cloth and Paper. It was from the last box. It's actually supposed to go the other way. It's the number five because it was their five year anniversary, but the number five doesn't really like mean anything to me. So I just flipped it around and it kind of just looks like art deco or something. So I bought this sequence and paper planner boss card. I have this clear foxy fix dashboards with some stickers from Paper Panda. This is a dashboard from Cloth and Paper or a vellum dashboard. And then I have another Foxy Fix dashboard with two cards in it, both from Queen City Designs. So that one, and then this one, I love this leopard one, so cute. The self-care routines, it's again from Caffeine and Plans. 
more paper panda stickers. And then this piece of acetate is also from Queen City Designs. And I just have that layered over another plan with jazz um, vision board. It's like a coffee vision board. I love it. So the next section is my list section. I just have like a random list. So a to buy list, a list of things to like print or make for my planner, a list of my favorite Instagram accounts, which I have not finished doing that. And then I have a little shopping tab with my wish list. And then I just today actually started a wish list for my girlfriend because whenever like her birthday or Christmas comes up, I'm like, what do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. She's like, I have no idea. So I decided that whenever she randomly talks about something she wants, I'm going to start writing it down. So I know. Um, this is Queen City Designs Acetate, another caffeinated concepts um, printable dash. And then next is Tracker. This is my order tracker. I have this little tab from Brooklyn Grace Co. that I just use my label maker to write orders. And then I do have another insert um, back here. It's the Cornell style note taking inserts from Cloth and Paper, but I have some information on it that I can't share yet. So I'm going to skip that. Um, there's luxury and simplicity dashboard from cloth and paper. And then the last section is just literally random shit. <laughs> so I have like, I decided I wanted to track like future setups. So like planners that I have, but I've never used. I don't know. I feel like I move into my planners very, um, it's very organized. Like I keep all my planners that I've bought that I haven't used yet. And then I just kind of like pick a theme for them and I'll just like move into them when I feel like it, if that makes sense. <laughs> So soon I'm going to have to write my taupe mo term whenever that comes in. Have a notes page about Animal Crossing and then this world clock dashboard from Cloth and Paper. And that is pretty much it. The last thing is this like little zipper pouch from Cloth and Paper, which I just have a couple like neutral stickers. The other side I have a note from my girlfriend and then a little like Cloth and Paper. Um, that was like a freebie from a Cloth and Paper order. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So in this back, in these back pockets, I've had this evening routine one from Planner Press for a while. These two cards, one says routine, one says to do. They're both from Queen City Designs. I don't have anything on them yet. I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do with them. But in the meantime, they're just sitting here and they look really pretty. I love them so much. But the only problem is it's kind of like I already have my... I already have my like inbox section, you know, like this is a blank card is where I keep my task cards. And then this little clear tasks card is like where I put them for the day. You know, like I just, I have this all figured out already. So I don't really know how to like incorporate these. You know what I mean? At first I thought about like storing my task cards on there, but that doesn't really make sense. Like if I have a card that says to do, I feel like it would make sense if like my tasks for the day was on this to do card, but I already have this. So I don't know. I am rambling about that, but we'll figure it out. In the meantime, they're very, very cute. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this white Motrim setup. In the back, I just have some notes from my girlfriend, information about my piercing, um, and that is really it. Let me show you guys. Hold on one second. Okay, so here's my pink Motrim, which is the one that you saw last. Um, I also have this Snow Leopard Ollie clip. I don't think I had these when I filmed my last video, but I love them. I pre-ordered the Ollie dot and this little one, and I finally got them in, and I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, so I pretty much kept everything in here from my last setup that I didn't use and take with me to my next one. Um, but I really, really, really love these Motrams. I mean, if you have not tried them, but you've been tempted to, you really should. So there's the pink and the white. And then let me show you the black. Okay, so here is the black Motrim. Obviously it's, oh, I didn't realize I had some dashboards in there. See, I have a little fall dashboard because um, I plan on moving into this in the fall time. But yeah, so they're obviously all pretty much the same, just different colors, but God, I love them so much. You may have even seen that they came out with a new style called the Versa, which is like a Mia Cara Gilio dupe, which I really like, but it's just, it's a lot of leather. So I, I think I'm gonna skip out on that. I think I'm happy with just the regular style, um, at least for now. So I'm just, I am loving these. I actually have one more. 
I have this gray one as well, which this gray one I think is really old, like maybe when they first started making them. Because first of all, this one did not come with a fly leaf. And second of all, the button and the zipper and everything is gold, whereas on all three of these, it's silver. And this one just feels a little different. Like it just feels like it was made differently. I don't know. It almost makes me want to purchase the gray now because I feel like they've made like significant changes since I got this one. But yeah, these are the four Moterms that I have. And like I said, I ordered the taupe. The taupe is beautiful. It's almost like if the pink, the white, and the gray had a baby, then you would get taupe. That's, it's this gorgeous like nude color, but it's almost like a mauve nude. I don't know. It's really pretty. I'm excited to get it in. Um, But yeah, that is my current setup in my white Moterm. I like it, I feel like it's light and fresh and really good for summer. And I'm probably gonna use this until, whoops. I'm probably gonna use this until, I would say like the end of August, like September-ish. And then probably like September, October, once we like really get into fall is when I'm gonna move into the black one. And I also have these glass plastic dividers from cloth and paper that I'm gonna use in this black one as well, so. Really cute, really excited. Um, what else am I loving right now? I guess since we're here, I got this sticker book that I've really been loving. Um, I'm using more functional stickers these days, which this sticker book has functional and deco, but I'm using more functional stickers these days, but the style of these is just gorgeous. Like I love them. So I've been trying to kind of incorporate these like into my spreads and stuff. Super pretty. I love this sticker book. So if you're interested, it's called Stay Wild and it's by um, The Happy Planner. So yeah, very pretty. So that is it. That is my white Moterm setup. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too boring because I know it's like the same as my last one, just different deco. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And the next time I film a video will honestly probably be in like a month and a half when I am filming the setup for this one. So Stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching. Bye.